and friends, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. We are going to be reacting to another uh, animated video by the SCP Animated uh, Tales from the Foundation. I can't remember life of me and their names sometimes, so I have to look down and get everything else. But um, we're going to be reacting to two of their videos today. But these videos are obviously going to come out on different on two different days. But I'm just going to get them done today. So we're going to be reacting to the Possessive Mass. It's, uh, I don't remember the exact number of the net mass, but I think you guys would know. But um, we're going to be reacting to an SCP animation for the mass. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. It's been a while since I've watched anything. There's one last thing before you go. We've had a change in protocol. It wasn't my decision. I want you to know that. And what's that, Ruth? The higher-ups have decided to stop providing hosts for you. They think it's too dangerous. Well, it is. For them. Clearly. But I've done no one else any harm. Wouldn't you agree? Well, technically, yes. And I can't deny we've learned a lot from being able to speak to you. You've experienced so much throughout history. This new protocol isn't my choice. But how do you feel about it, Ruth? My feelings are irrelevant. Not to me. Obviously, I don't care for this change in protocol, but I want to know how you feel about it. I... I feel... like it's my responsibility to uphold these policies. It's my job. I like how this is going so far. It's almost time, right? I resent this part. Before I go, I must request it again that I meet 682. You know that's impossible. We can't allow you to meet a host that might prevent the normal... Uh... Progression of decay. I expected as much. I just wish your doctors would be more open-minded. At any rate, it seems my time is up. I hope to see you again at some point, even if it may take longer than usual. As always, Ruth, it was a pleasure. That guy is one smooth talker. You think he's actually into you? Or is he just putting on the moves to get you to help him escape? I... I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. But we do know he's manipulative. And he's an SCP, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you say that. But you're always batting your eyelashes when you're in here with them. Ugh, would you be professional, please? Just put him in the new case, then we can get on with our day. You heard about the incident with the sculpture the other week, right? Yeah. They really need a better screening process for the Ds who go in there. Are they talking about SCP-173? Because that's the only sculpture I know of. Oh, his face changed. Hey, Ella. I meant to say... It's nice to have you back from your trip. Three months at Site-19 must have been tiring. Thank you. I missed being here. Oh, so much has changed in the last few months. Like what? Well, this room is usually empty for one. I used to come here to be alone. Oh, well, don't let me bother you then. I just need to get a vial of amnestics for a discharge. A discharge? Oh god, is it that honk who's guarding your mask? He's not my... Wait, how'd you hear about that? You've only been back for a couple of days. Word travels quickly around here, especially if you talk to the, uh, right people. And, um, yeah, the most recent bit of news is that the mask has been causing all kinds of problems since we stopped allowing it to have hosts. You really should let me deal with things that happen in my department. I'm perfectly capable of handling it. What kind of problems have you heard about, though? Well, you already know that one of the guards is put in for a transfer, but do you know why? Maybe you should wander down there and check the room out. It's been talking to people, Ruth. Without a host. <laughs> Without a host? If you're going to make stuff up, at least pick something believable. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know where Tim is, would you? He's got a... A report I need to look over. Uh, he took an early weekend, I think. Oh, well, that's disappointing. 
Oh, and I was serious about the mask, by the way. That's just what I need. False rumors spreading about my department having issues. I can't believe she makes something like that up. Gentlemen, are either of you planning on coming to see Roscoe off this afternoon? Mm, no, ma'am. We're, uh, we're on shift until midnight. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. I've just been getting these horrible migraines lately. Only when I'm on duty, though. Like they know when it's a bad time. Okay, just hang in there for a little while. I'll send another guard to take the rest of your shift. Feel better. <sighs> Thank you, ma'am. <sighs> Been such a long time. Visit soon. What? Was that alright? Uh, now I have another problem to solve. He's happy. Oh, thank God you're back. I need you to help me figure this out. Of course. You know I'm here for you. So, what's the problem this time? A few days ago, I heard a report that the mask has been speaking to people without a host. I thought it was a joke at first, but I've experimented with it a little. And it turns out if you're within 30 feet of it, you hear it whispering in your mind. And extended exposure leads to terrible headaches. I've had to increase the frequency of guard rotations like three times. Oh, thank God. I thought I was losing it before you got here. I was waiting for you for less than 10 minutes and it was asking for you the entire time. Yeah, I've noticed his, um, attachment to me seems to persist even when he doesn't have a host. He's been asking to speak to me for days. I'm actually starting to wonder if giving him one last host would let him explain all this. You know that's out of the question. Hey, when did that get there? Capti? I have no idea. I didn't notice it when I came in, did you? No, I'm sure I would have seen it. All these walls are what? <gasps> Is that Greek? It's got to be him, right? I am captive. Ruth. Set me free. This is only the beginning. If you don't, I need a body. Let me out. Yep. I think it's safe to say it's the mask. We need to... We need to see if we can get him a body. These are clearly threats. And you think the Foundation will yield? Seriously, Ruth. This is uncharted territory. You're letting it get in your head. Literally. He's not manipulating me. This is about investigating what he wants from us and what he intends to do. Clearly his abilities go beyond what we thought. Yeah. Apparently. And now the per door is purple. All right. You ready to tackle purple. this thing? I brought us coffee. Has the translator arrived yet? Ruth. Oh my god. What happened? I'm... I'm not sure. It's only been a few days, but things have escalated so much. When I got here, the case looked as if it had exploded. And the walls... well... Well, this is unexpected. How about you get a broom for the glass, and I'll stay here in case the translator arrives. I wouldn't recommend being alone with this thing. It's been getting stronger. And the walls are starting to corrode under all this blood. Have you talked to the guards? The whispers are driving some of them crazy. Seriously, one of them had a violent outburst the other day and wounded two D-classes completely unprovoked. I've been dealing with him for months. I can manage. Please, Tim. We can't work in here if there's broken glass everywhere. And get a new case, if you can. Fine. I'll be back. Gonna go wrong. Where's all this coming from? I know you've craved your freedom, but there are rules and procedures. You've been here for years, you must know this. What's changed? The increased suppression has become too much to handle. Why? Do you mean the lack of hosts? All of it. I must meet the Tarask Ruth. I feel it is our destiny to be united. 
You can't! You have never wanted to follow their rules, Ruth. I know the truth that lies within you, and I know that you've always held a certain fondness for me. We would be so strong together. Your knowledge of the Foundation and my knowledge of the ways of the world would become an unstoppable force. Please, help me. You're suggesting I put you on? I am begging, dear Ruth. All our time together has led to this moment. You wouldn't deny destiny, would you? Don't put it on, Ruth. Ruth! No! God damn it, Ruth. Thanks for oh, watching. If you'd like to help support the creation of our videos, consider being like all these people on screen and pledging to our Patreon page. Link is down in the description below. These videos would not be possible without the dedicated support of our Patreons, particularly these people on screen. Okay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the today's reaction video. Sorry that wasn't much commentary, I was just really into the video and what was going on. Because I've read up on the, on the mask before and I've never seen anything like that before, so I was kind of into it. I know this might not, not, might not be an official thing with the, with the mask itself, but it still caught my attention too much for me to actually talk. And... And from what I can tell from the next video I'll be reacting to, which you guys will see in the next video, I might not be talking as much as well either in that video because I am not don't know much about the next SCP we're going to be watching next. But um, regardless, guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's reaction video. Like and subscribe to all this stuff, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.